guys. Okay, so this is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial. I am doing Physician's Formula because um, Lolly Dolly 128 inspired me to do another Physician's Formula one because, uh, as she said, like, I haven't really seen a whole lot of them with just Physician's Formula or um, NYX and so I really want to try and do NYX as well. I'll probably do that one next and um, yeah I'm just using I do have a lot of the same products that she did because I already had them but I do have some stuff that is older and I do have some different stuff as well but I'm going to be going with a different look I, um, I didn't, the only thing that I didn't get is the mascara, and I think that's it, because I'm not really a huge fan of Physicians Formulas mascaras, and they don't have any brow products, at least I don't think they do. All the stores that I went to, they didn't have any brow products, so, um, that is the only other thing, but I'll probably do my brows with something else, but that's okay um, and I do apologize if you hear some noise in the background I am going to be talking through this but if there's any noise and stuff in the background it's because my kids are <laughs> playing and watching Shrek so um, let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial so I instead of getting the Physicians Formula BB Cream I did get the Super CC Plus um, one and then I got the concealer as well. And I really like the packaging on the, the little bottles with this hot pink bottom to it. It's so cute. Um, yeah. I'm just put the packaging over here. And I'm I got mine in light medium. And this does has F does have SPF 30, so that's always good. I am really surprised that my lighting is okay. I'm very happy about that though. So hopefully, I did just self tan, so I'm hoping that this light medium is going to work with me. I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Looks like it'll be okay. Let's hope it is anyways. <laughs> So I'm just going to apply this with my finger all over the place. And I don't believe, well, I do, Physicians Formula does have primers, but um, I didn't really, I do have a primer from them, but I have no idea where it is. Who knows? Um, but every place that I go around me, they don't really have very good selections. Like I have to go to like a million stores to get <laughs> the stuff I want from Physicians Formula. It's so aggravating. I hate it. But uh, what, what can you do? Okay, now I'm just going to take a beauty blender and blend this in. Yeah, this looks like an okay color for right now. Um, ah, my hair is all getting all stuck up in it. So, go ahead and This is looking a little, yeah, this looks good. Good color. Um, it's not super full coverage, but it is nice. Um, it's nice for like summertime and stuff like that. Or like the beach or something. Which is nice. I like that. I usually... Typically, I usually don't even wear like BB creams or anything like that when I go to the beach, but yeah, just because it gets so darn hot where I live, and it just kind of goes bleh, <laughs> so that's not always pretty. Um. It is a little light, but it kind of blends well, so not too 
concerned about that. Okay, now we're going to conceal. I really hope this, I, ah! I really hope I like this. Because I've really been wanting to try out like um, some new concealers and stuff. If you guys have any like good suggestions on like drugstore concealers like this, please let me know because I have actually really been loving these like stick concealers like this. So no, it would probably like twist. I should have probably twisted this like before I even started this video because it's probably gonna take me like 12 million years to get the product out of this. That is like the cutest packaging ever. Oh, snap. Ah. Oh, and I got this in light medium as well. Um, it kind of seems watery to me. Like, it's not, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Concealer in my hair. This seems really watery. Okay, so I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but yeah. I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and blend that out. I want to try the nude one. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Not the best. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back and try the nude. Um, the new line that came out. The new nude line, or whatever. <laughs> that has the cutest packaging ever. Okay. Oh, and I didn't get a face powder either, like a setting powder. Lately, I haven't really been using one, but <sighs> yeah, I probably should have, but they didn't have my color when I went, so it will. Now I'm going to take, this is the bronze booster in, um... It's just these little balls. I love this stuff. It kind of smells funny, but <laughs> whatever. This is in medium to dark. And let's just bronze up our face a little bit to match our um, rest of our body a little bit more. Like some of these little balls in here, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but they've got like little bits of shimmer in them, which is nice. But it doesn't it doesn't really come off like glittery or anything like that, which is nice. Sunset strip and get it open. Maybe. Just looks like this. I really, really like this. It's nice and bronzy and warm.
did kind of bronze up my face a little bit, but And then this is new. I have been using this though, and I absolutely love this. Um, this is like the cutest packaging ever. It's this like kind of faux leather marbly with the rose gold. Um, and then it also comes with a mirror and a brush on this side. And then on this side, it's the blush, which has just got these four colors. It's got like a baby pink and then a little bit B brighter, darker, kind of rosy pink, and then kind of a Barbie pink, and then a nudie, nudie, <laughs> a more nude color. I just kind of, this is, I'm using a Sedona Lace 850 brush, and just kind of doing that all in there. And putting that on my cheeks. Start on the eyes, and I've got this matte collection quad in Canyon Classics. It just looks like this. It's got this kind of um, creamy white color, and then kind of a, a, a more naturally skin tone color. And then this one's a little bit on the more browny side, a little bit deeper, and then this is kind of like almost like a blue gray. I really like that one. So I'm going to start out with that um, lighter skin color, skin tone color. And apply that to um, for as my blending color. These eyebrows. that more the darker nude color and apply that in my crease as well just to deepen it up a little bit more towards the outer a little bit into the crease I'm going to go in to these uh, shimmer strips, the custom eye enhancing Cole Kajal eyeliner trio, and I have the nude eyes. Yeah. Um. And, uh, it just comes with this. Sorry, I had to go take care of something really quick. Um, and I just went ahead and did my eyebrows because, I don't know, I can't like not have, I can't have makeup on and not have my eyebrows done. I don't know if I'm the only person like that or what, but yeah, I just can't do it. Anyways, um, back to these, what I do with the box. Um, they're the Cole Kajal eyeliners and they just come with this kind of like shimmery, I don't know, creamy color and then a brown, well, let's see, a natural champagne, playful pewter, and then dramatic black. So, I'm going to go with the brown color. Mom. Ah! 
the faithful pewter. I take that and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid as like a base. Except for like in the very, very inner corner. I'm going to uh, take that champagne color. blend and smudge that out a little bit with our finger, wipe any excess off. We're taking that champagne color and putting it right on a combination of these two palettes. This is the Sexy Booster Oh So Sexy 12 Hour Eyeshadow Quad. Why is this not coming out? Come on. There we go. Um, and it just looks like this. This is a really cute packaging with this little heel. And then it's got these really pretty like um, champagne -y colors and then a brown and then a black and they do have a little bit of a shimmer um, in them but not like too too much so it's not too bad and then this uh, new what is this called the shimmer strips all-in-one custom nude palette for face and eyes I absolutely Love this palette. Look at all those gorgeous colors. They're just gorgeous. I have been using this like crazy and it does come with like a little instructions on this on the back side and a mirror, a brush, and a little eye brush thing as well. So we're gonna be taking those. And I'm just gonna take um, from this oh so sexy palette this brown color and a flat shader brush and Actually, you know what? I lied. Um, I'm, first, I'm going to take this um, top color right here, which is kind of like a creamy color, and a uh, this is a Sedona Lace EB11. This is just a flat brush. I love this brush. else make like really weird faces when they put their makeup on because <laughs> I make some really weird ones okay now going into that brown color from the same palette and using a Sedona Lace 305 I'm just going to place that all over where we put that um, 
liner, coal, the coal liner. And kind of blend it so with that inner crease color so it's not like well bam, well bam or anything like that. <laughs> smoky eyes that much but I really like these shadows and I thought they would be perfect for like a smoky eye like a sexy smoky eye okay and now I'm going to go into the nude strips and use this kind of kind of like a champagne -y gold color right here and with my finger I'm just going to tap that like right kind of like in the middle half of my eye like right there on the like ball of your eye Take that fluffy brush and kind of blend it all nicely out. I'm going to go back with that um, Canyon Classics and use the other side of my um, Sedona Lace 305 and just use this white um, cream color. shimmer so I'm going to take that like it's almost white but it's like a, it's a cream kind of shimmery color just take a little tiny tiny bit of that and put it right there on the arch back I'm going to go apply some fake lashes because I'm gonna be filming some other videos and then we'll finish up the face okay so I applied my lashes which I am wearing these um, Ardell natural wispies in black um, and with my favorite lash glue which you know I always real I just realized in my favorites like I never add like my favorite hair products or tools except I did on in January anyways but um or like my lashes and stuff like that but this is like my favorite 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 lash glue of all time ever and it's the Revlon precision lash adhesive and I think this one's just in clear I think yeah um which I need to go get some more if you can't tell this is like all kind of jacked up <laughs> but um yeah so I just applied those I didn't put any mascara on <sighs> just because I really like how these lashes really really go really well um, I am going to tight line with the um, with the black one of these that came in the trio set and I'm going to um, line my lower lash line as well.
really like these. I hate tight lining because it always makes my eyes water. And I don't know why. But it does. <laughs> That. So now I'm just going to use some, I'm just going to use the CoverGirl mascara since I'm not a huge fan of the Physicians formula. Um, just for my lower lash lines, or my lower lashes. <laughs> now for lips, um, I'm using the, um, uh, the pH matchmaker pH power lip gloss um, it says instantly matches you in 60 seconds I got mine in natural so let's see how this does if I can even get out of this funky packaging it's got this little tiny little applicator and it has a light top So yeah, I, I really like this lip gloss. It's really nice. Um, my eyes look really like greeny blue today. I like it. Anyways, um, yeah, I really, really, really like this um, lip gloss. This is probably gonna be like my favorite. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I really, really, really like it. Yeah. I am not, I haven't ever really been, when I'm wearing, when I was in high school, I wore Physician's Formula quite a bit, but, um, I haven't really been a Physician's Formula person for a while, so I'm glad that I got this stuff, and now I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can use all the time. I have a new favorite lip gloss, yay! Um, and I like that it's a gloss, but it's a color as well, and so like you don't have to wear a lipstick underneath it, which is really cool. So, yeah, um, you guys, just thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and want more videos like this. I um, apologize for it being like probably a bajillion years long <laughs> um, and for saying um so freaking much. I don't know why I say that so much, but anyways, I absolutely love this uh, makeup. The CC cream was actually pretty good. Not my, you know, not, it's not full coverage or anything like that. So you guys are looking I mean it definitely covers a good bit but I think it would cover a little bit better if I if I had gotten a powder which like I said they didn't have my color they had like a really really light color that would have completely washed me out and not matched at all so didn't get that and um yeah, I really, really like it. It's like a natural look, but with like a smoky eye, and I think it's really, I think this is probably going to be like one of my go-to looks from now on. I absolutely love it, and ugh. Uh, the only pooey thing that I didn't like that I used was the CC Concealer, the the Super CC uh, Concealer stick and light medium yeah I just it wasn't wasn't my thing didn't like it so I don't know you guys I think this is gonna be going back so let me let me know if you guys have tried the um, 
the concealer, let me know if it was watery to you. It was a little too watery for me. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a watery concealer person at all. I just, I don't know. They just don't seem to really do anything to me or for me. <laughs> so, yeah. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will be filming a few more for you guys today. So stay tuned for some more videos. I am going to be doing the some reviews and things like that. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.